What is up, Dippers? Dipper Dan One here. I know. I apologize. It's been a long time since I made a video, but me and uh, Tech Dipper put up a couple of videos on the uh, Gerson Coat Boys channel. Uh, but anyway, um, so tonight, what should I say this morning? Because it's the morning time. It is 12:30. But anyway. This morning, I am going to be doing a review. Oh, did you get some new dip? No. Gonna be some new chew. Southern Pride. Now, I've heard this is good. I haven't opened it yet, even though the bag looks all tore up. Because I've had it for like about two weeks and I haven't tried it yet. Me and uh, Tech Dipper were going to do a review, but maybe we'll do a review at some other, some other point in time. So... Crack it open on camera. Peel the bag open. It's got a fresh lock, same as Red Man, which is nice. Alright. Peel you open. This better be still fresh. If it's not, I won't be pissed off. Oh, yeah, that's fresh. Smells good. Smells, you know, like most tobacco. Unfortunately, Tech Dipper, you're probably going to be mad at me, but you remember that pound of Stokers that you gave to me the other day that we had had for about two months? Well, I went to put a cheek in last night, or technically two nights ago, and well, it was bad. So, that's a pound of Stokers chew down the drain. I apologize, but anyway. Mud jug, obviously. Confederate camo. I have another one. It's in my car, but so I'm not gonna go out and get that. Show y'all. You know, I got a new one. It might be in my next video. I don't know. Anyway, a good little, uh, good little cheek in there. Might gonna put a huge cheek because I don't know if I'm gonna like it. it says it says if you like Levi Garrett, try this. I think I might have had Levi Garrett once. I can't really remember it. Alright, well, for starters, it's a little bit dry. I mean, <coughs> looking at the leaf, um, hang on, sorry. <coughs> Allergies are killing me. Ugh, looking at the leaf, um, I can see the moisture on it, but I don't know, it kind of feels a little dry. Damn. Anyway, um, start out with this, and I'll put a little bit more in. Cheek in, not very big. I've had bigger cheeks in before, but yeah, I'm just trying it out for the first time. So yeah, okay. Um, it's not bad. You know, it's got typical raisin flavor. Um, it's definitely not as moist as Red Man. Red Man is the moistest chew that I've ever come across, but I mean, it's not bad. It's got a little different flavor than, uh, you know, Red Man or Stoker's. I find Stoker's Chew and Red Man Chew tastes very similar. Um, now, I do still like the taste of Red Man a little bit better than Stoker's, but that's just me. Though, this is a, quite a bit cheaper than Red Man. 
this is literally half the price of red man and you know what it's definitely not bad hmm. they buy Pinkerton Tobacco Company in Owensburg Kentucky At least 20% domestic grown tobacco. So let's hope it's 100%. <laughs> um, 3 ounce bag, as usual. Like I said, it's got the little zip lock thing on the top, so not bad. I really like the, I, I do really like the, the look of this bag, except for this stupid red. If you like Levi Garrett, try this. I don't like that part of it. But I mean, honestly, you know what it reminds me of? Southern Pride reminds me. Not in taste, but in look. Oh, Southern Blend. See, see the similarities? Similar color. Well, all right, look at the side. Look at that. Similar color. I like this. This is good. Let's see. On the chew scale. Uh, let's see. I would say Red Man would be 10. Um, Stokers would be about nine, nine and a half. I would rate this probably between eight and a half and a nine. It's about 8.75. It's about an eight and a quarter in one to ten on the chew scale. So this is not bad. And for being half the price of Red Man, I mean, it's not bad at all. Now, it's definitely not as, um, it's not as moist as Red Man is at all. It has a little bit different of a flavor. But, I gotta be honest, I really do like this, though. I might actually have to bump that up to a 9. Yeah, it's definitely a 9. So, I rate this right along with, uh, with Stoker's. I mean, it, it's a different taste in general, but I mean, this is good. Mm. Um. Mm. I am noticing one thing, though, is that, uh, it, it, it's a little bit rough like the cut is rough in the uh, in the cheek and it seems to fall apart a little bit when you're chewing it but all in all not bad at all I like this definitely will buy this again this is some good stuff so anyway Get on to the news section. So, uh, Monday, today is Wednesday. Uh, Monday, I will be starting my automotive classes again. So, look forward to possibly seeing some videos while I'm on my way down there. Um, might be more of a probably than a possibly. Um, Let's see, um, I gave Tech Dipper my CB and antenna because I'm running a dual fire stick setup and I want a new CB, obviously. Um, so I'll be running a dual fire stick setup, so that'll be sick as tits. Um, as Outlaw likes to say, sick as tits. Oh, um, hmm. Hmm. Y'all know that I only work Friday and Saturday nights. Well, heard through the grapevine that um, that they're uh, cutting back the comedy club. They're cutting Fridays, so it'll only be Saturdays. I don't know when, but it's happening, <laughs> which really sucks. Because there goes. 
eight hours of my pay right there. So it means I'll only be making like 50 bucks a week, and at that point, it won't be worth keeping, honestly, because that'll just get me by with gas. But actually, not even because I'll be going to uh, I'll be going to school. So if I'm going to school, then well, my parents said that they, they pay for my gas when I go down to school since I'm driving 750 miles a week. Which is crazy as hell. But, see, another good thing about it is that since they're cutting Friday nights, that means Friday after uh, class I won't have to go directly there. Because I'll be getting up at like 6 o'clock to get down there by 8. Well, I'll be getting up at like 6.30, get down there by 8, and then uh, leaving, getting up here around 3, then having to turn around and leave at 5 to get to work, so that's going to suck. But, uh, other than that, you know, I mean, don't really know. Um, trying to think of other news. Uh, girlfriend's coming over today. That's good. Later on. Um, oh, I have to uh, drive with my mom. Go pick up her dog. So I said, all right, there's one condition. One condition I have. Not take your car, because I hate driving your car, and I know you're going to make me drive. So I'm going to take my car, but I can't afford to, I don't have enough gas to get up there. So, you know, she's going to be paying for my gas to get up there. So that would be pretty sweet. And actually, I might show her um, that, I can't remember if y'all remember this or not, I don't think y'all do. But, um... Last time, uh, when I went to drop the dog off with Tech Dipper, um, we went and uh, saw this old abandoned. I think I think what it is. I think it was an automotive shop. It looked like a repair shop or something because uh, they had big old bay doors and look what looked like an oil heater. Uh, but we couldn't really tell. He thought it was an old church, but. I don't think so, honestly. Um, churches normally don't have two big old bay doors, you know. So, uh, so I think it was a uh, it was a shop. Um, but it's a uh, it's funny because I know how to get there definitely because it, it's a uh, let me think. There's this uh, there's a seafood restaurant that's right down. the like literally, like maybe an eighth of a eighth of a mile down the road from it. Not even, maybe a sixteenth of a mile down the road uh, from it. So you know, it's easy to find. But um, I don't know. Um, last time I went in there, I got some pretty cool pictures of it. Uh, so if y'all uh aren't follow me on Instagram. Uh, I have two actually. I have a Dipstagram, which is DipperDan1. Um, my regular Instagram, which I post my personal pics on, and not my dip pics, is a uh, uh, Redneck Dan. One word, Redneck Dan. Um, so, if y'all want to see those pictures, go ahead and check them out. They're pretty cool there. From about uh, two or three weeks ago. So, Anyway, that's about it. Uh, Southern Pride, loose leaf chewing tobacco, nine out of ten. Um, now I saw online uh, somewhere somebody found Amish chewing tobacco. So I'm gonna see if I can find that. I saw it on Instagram actually. So I'm gonna see if I can't find that. If I find it, I'm definitely doing a review. If I have to order it off the Northerner, I don't care. I'm going to do a review. So, thanks for watching, y'all. Talk to y'all next time. And as always, spit black bitches.